We're gonna make a grapefruit and beet salad. Grapefruits are perfectly in season right now. They are fantastic. They will be juxtaposed with a warm roasted beet. The combination of grapefruit and beet together, it's a team that can't be beat. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. We're gonna roast beets. Here's a really easy way to do it. Beets, okay? And now, take a little bit of oil. You just wanna go like this right here. And then foil, make it tight. So now we're gonna throw these in the oven. They're gonna cook somewhere between 40 and 60 minutes. E-A-Z-Y, baby. The beets are out of the oven. We gotta peel these skins. How do we do it? With the beet skin remover. Deluxe edition. Stop me if you've seen this before, but essentially, you put the beet inside of this beet skin remover, and you just kind of twist and rub. And the friction, combined with the fact that the beet has cooked, will remove this skin. Boop. It emerges skinless. It's gorgeous. We'll come in, we'll get another one. Spin, spin, spin. Get that thumb, I like to do the thumb down. The thumb down. Okay, great. There it is. Of course, you get a lovely tapestry that you can sell on the internet afterwards. We're gonna cut this off right here, thin rounds. So just get a good grip here. If you don't get total rounds, it's okay. This is a heartier salad, and I think there should be layers. And this base layer should be alternating colors. Gorgeous. The grapefruit, it's in season now. This is a citrusy, bright, acidic, wonderfully floral flavor that's gonna balance out our roasted beets perfectly. Let me show you a great way to cut this for a salad. You take your knife, you cut off the top. Try to get as much pith as you can. If you, if you don't see any grapefruit, go a little deeper. The pith is all this white part. Now the grapefruit has a lot of it. Now we take the knife and we're just gonna come down like this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and we're really just trying to, again, get as much pith away as we can. It's not just here. It's also in between the membranes of this gorgeous fruit. So now we're gonna take our knife and take just the awesome stuff out and leave the rest of the pith behind. We find the veins and we're gonna come just to the side of a vein like that, boom. And then on this one, on the inside, and what you're left with is a perfect piece of fruit, no pith, no vein. It's almost like a gorgeous piece of sashimi. That's what it looks like. We're being like a citrus sushi master right now. We've got this fibrous mass, but it still has use to us. Use in the form of its juice. And the juice is going to be the dressing that brings the salad together. I love it. So I got some peels here. I'm looking for some juice in the peels. No juice will be wasted. We're saving this juice for our dressing. So just put it aside for a second and pull out your fennel. I'm gonna try and get the fennel as thin as I possibly can. So I'm gonna go this way. The fennel's crunchy, gives us textural variance. It's got this really nice, like sort of licorice flavor. Avocado, it's got a tiny little pit. This is a very tiny pit in this avocado. We get, hey, give it up, give it up, oh, and then. Perfect. I've always found that a big spoon kind of gets the flesh out from the skin nicely. Okay, flip, we do again. All the ingredients are prepared. Let's put it on top of the beets. Let's make it look pretty. I'm coming in with the fennel. We're gonna go grapefruit. Gorgeous little toros here. And then slices of avocado. We're not done yet. We need to tie it all together. I think nuts are a great way to do that. Pistachios in particular. Pistachios and beets are like really good friends with each other. Okay, we are gonna make a dressing. We're gonna add a little red wine vinegar, oil of olive, and to the packageur, Dijon mustard and honey. This gives a zing, it gives depth, but it also emulsifies this. The honey also acts as an emulsifier, keeping the oil and the citrus together, and it adds sweetness. It's looking pretty good, don't you think? Here we go. Coming around the outside, sort of like that, very nice. Goat cheese. I'm just gonna like pinch little bits and drop them. Now we've gotta add one of my favorite wintertime herbs, which is parsley to the herb garden. Okay, I think I did it, woohoo! This grapefruit and beet winter salad looks like sunshine on a plate. It's $2.63 a serving. I cannot wait to put it in my belly. Mm. Mm -mm. 
Oh, mmm. This is just another great recipe to lighten up your winter meals. And texturally, this is super pleasing because of the way we cut the grapefruit. It really lets you enjoy that entire cross section of a bite.